So let's take a look at Continuity Camera. This is a new feature of Mac OS Mojave and iOS 12. It allows you to use your iPhone as a camera to take pictures or scan documents directly into apps on your Mac. So to have this working you've got to have a lot of things set up. You have to have both an iPhone or iPad with a Mac, everything updated to Mojave and iOS 12. And you have to have everything you normally turn on for all the continuity features. So you need to have Bluetooth turned on for both devices. You need to have Wi-Fi turned on for both devices. And you need to be using the same Apple ID for both devices. Also you need to be using two-factor authentication for your Apple ID account. It doesn't work if you are still not uh, upgraded to the latest security stuff. So once you have that in place you are going to see this ability appear in different apps. So for instance here I am in Preview. I've got the uh, Preview app open and it's looking for a document for me to open. But instead of doing that I'm going to go to File and here I see Import from iPhone and I have Take Photo or Scan Documents. So I'll use Take Photo and I'm not actually going to do anything on my iPhone. It's going to switch to this mode here that you see where I can take a photo and it's going to do that just automatically. So now I can take a photo and once I do I can see Retake or Use Photo. I'll say Use Photo and then on my Mac I get the photo. So it's that easy. The photo is not saved in my photo library. It's not on my iPhone at all. It just goes directly into the app I was using. In this case Preview. Here's another place you could use it. In Mail if you want to attach a photo you can simply click the little Photo Attachment button here at the top. You have the ability to, to grab a photo from your library. But you also have Take Photo and Scan Documents there as well. And it will then access your phone and allow you to take a picture. And it's instantly inserted in your mail message. And Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. Yep, you can do it there too. Click on the Media button and you have all the usual options. But you also have Take Photo or Scan Documents here. And you can then use your phone to grab a quick photo. So what about the option to scan things in? You've seen that as a second option in every example I've shown. Well this uses the iPhone's camera to scan a document in the same way the iPhone does it by itself. So you can do this already in the Notes app for instance. What it does is it looks through the camera and it tries to correct the image to get a flat scan of a document even if you're holding the camera at an angle. And it does this automatically. So let's try it here. I'm in Preview. I'll do Import from iPhone and I'll say Scan Documents. And now it goes to the camera on the iPhone and I've got a document here. I will get it right underneath and you can see it try to figure out where the document is and it grabs it. And I can continue scanning so I can flip the page and go to page 2, 3, 4, etc. I'm going to say I'm done here and hit the Save button. And when I do that I get the scan document. Notice, notice how nice and flat this is even though I wasn't holding my iPhone directly above the page. I was holding it at an angle. So this is just the ability basically to skip having to save the scanned item in Notes or some other way on your iPhone and then transfer them to your Mac. You can do them directly to your Mac right here into Preview or to another app and then manipulate this as you would anything else. So you know here I am in Preview. I've got all the markup tools for instance and I can now sign this document. I can mark it up, add boxes and arrows and all sorts of things. So what about third party apps? Well it's definitely a possibility. Third party developers can add this into their Mac apps and you may see some doing that soon. Also keep in mind that any continuity feature sometimes is a bit of a headache especially if you have older devices. If you have an older iOS device or an older Mac it may not be compatible. It needs to have the latest hardware because it transfers directly from the device to the computer. So it doesn't go through your Wi-Fi router for instance. It's doing this just as you would use say a feature like AirDrop. And if AirDrop isn't working on your Mac then probably Continuity Camera isn't at all. And I see a lot of people also are having issues with this because they simply haven't moved to two-factor authentication. You should be moving to two-factor just for security reasons anyway. But this is uh, an added incentive to go there if you want to use Continuity Camera.